Yes, Pebble Beach is a very important event for Bugatti because on that special week, we have both. We have uh, historic car lovers and we have uh, super sports cars and luxury car lovers coming to this place in, in the summer. So August is a very good uh, period of time because it's in the middle of, year, of the year. And we have on the other side, we have Geneva as the starting point of the year. Then we have a lot of our customers which are joining. And then for us, it's special because the United States is our biggest single market. And uh, it's also an opportunity to sell cars. Due to the fact that there are a lot of uh, vintage or uh, historical car lovers, it's clear also that for us as a Bugatti brand, which is celebrating the 110th anniversary, there is a strong or there should be a strong relationship between the owners of historical cars and new cars. So yes, we want to attract them also for our new lineup. Yes, we said at the beginning of the year 2018 that we want to have at least two new launches each and every year. One should be in Geneva and the other one should be in the middle of the year. So we think Pebble Beach is the best place to go. And this year we had La Voiture Noire, so which is, let's say, covering the era of Ettore and his uh, Saint Jean and the relationship between La Voiture Noire and the Atlantique. And we have three eras mainly. So the first one, uh, Ettore, the third one, which is the one of today from 98 till today and it's ongoing. And the second one, which is the shortest, the time in Campo Gagliano, where the EB110 was born. And so we think that this is a perfect bridge with this car to remember Campo Gagliano and the era here in, uh, in Italy. So this car is an incredible car. We are only going to build it 10 times. All the cars are sold uh, for a price of 8 million euro net. It's a, an outstanding car because it has an 8 liter capacity engine, 16 cylinders and 1,600 horsepower. And it has an incredible power to weight ratio of just 1.1. Well, this year uh, we are celebrating our 110th anniversary, so it's a good moment in time to look back and to see what the history has given us. And yes, we are a French brand, but the founder was an Italian-born man in Milan. He became French during his life. And I think it's important to embrace all the chapters of the history of Bugatti and therefore also the short history here in Campo Gagliano with the Cento Dieci has um, a special place in the history of Bugatti.